I'm going to go over several Microsoft Defender alerts and show how Intezer can automatically triage these alerts and provide you with important artifacts and insights that can accelerate your investigation process and reduce the false positives that you might be experiencing. Here you can see three alerts with different severity levels. So this one says RT Core 64 hack tool was prevented. We can see the process tree here and the file that is alerted on and terminated. In order to properly investigate, we can go down here. And this actually changes our perspective. So Intezer's analysis says this is likely false positive. The verdict is trusted. And the classification is display driver installation CD. So this is legitimate software. If we want to verify this, we can just go to the analysis. And here, luckily, we have Intezer's full classification. And this actually tells us that the code here was seen previously in this type of legitimate software, meaning there is no risk to the organization. And this is a false positive. Intezer can also automatically remediate and close these kinds of false positive alerts. Lastly, we have another alert. This one says an active CVE 2017-11882 exploit malware was blocked. 2017 means that this vulnerability was discovered in 2017. We know that based on Microsoft Defender, this alert is related possibly to this exploit. As an analyst, I wouldn't prioritize an alert that is based on a few years old vulnerability since I know that our systems are up to date with the latest patches. Let's see what Intezer tells us. So here we actually get a better classification. We get the name Remcos, which is a known malware, and we see that this is in fact a confirmed threat. The recommendations are block, quarantine, and apply IOCs. Microsoft has already blocked the threat, so we need to apply the relevant IOCs. We have relevant indicators that we can use. And here under TTPs, we find very critical information, persistence, execution, and command and control. Let's jump to the analysis to get that data. We can dive in here to the dynamic execution flow and see how Intezer analyzes every single stage in this infection process as part of the malware's execution. Here we see the final payload is a type of rat. Now let's jump directly to the most important parts. The TTPs show that execution, persistence, and command control are being used. Let's look at persistence. And under persistence, we can see exactly where this malware installs itself. It also drops a binary and executes it. Let's look for that as well. Creates a hidden file. It also sniffs keystrokes. So this is something I would immediately mention the user and make sure to update their passwords. Detect and hunt shows me those indicators that I need to hunt for additional infections and verify that the organization is clean. Here I have all the network indicators and you can see here the exact address of the second stage malware that was downloaded and executed. This is something I would for sure look for in my network. Apart from network, I can look for file rights, process tree structures, the command line itself and the commands that were executed, registry keys that were changed or written, etc. You can filter them based on these different types and level of effectiveness. You can also choose the different verdicts and generate a rule for hunting purposes. Going back here, we can see that using Intezer's integration and automation, we can get clearer verdicts, classifications, priorities, and severity levels to our alerts. We can save a lot of time by not needing to investigate false positives. For those true positives, we can drill down exactly where we need in order to make sure we remediate patient zero and clean the entire environment. If you want to check this out, you can join and initiate this kind of integration with your Microsoft Defender instance.